Hey, what is up, YouTubians? What's going on? Um, just did a video yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, talking about basically my little accident. So if you haven't seen that video, please go watch it. So what I'm going to talk about today is something totally different, okay? Um, <laughs> this is probably going to be more controversial than anything else. If you get into expediting and you buy a vehicle and you've never done this before, I don't know how many times I've had to say this in my videos and it's kind of, it's kind of fucking annoying now. Um, I see it all the time on Facebook. I get a lot of questions that people actually are doing their due diligence, which is good. But I see a lot of people on the Facebook expediting groups i bought a van now what company do i sign it on with okay number one if you are stupid enough to buy a vehicle and you know nothing about the industry you deserve to fail you deserve to fail okay number one you didn't do your research if you bought a van, now what company do I sign it on with? You're doing it ass backwards, man. You're just asking for trouble. You're buying a forty or fifty thousand dollar paperweight, or you buy a, and you should buy a long and tall van. This is other conversations I've had with other drivers, and this also pisses me off because basically I have a playlist of expediting videos. People don't take the time to even watch a five minute video. They can't take the time to watch a five minute video that's informing them on how to be successful, okay? They don't even take the time to watch my playlist. If I'm researching how to be a doctor or a lawyer, I'm gonna freaking research it. <laughs> Maybe you go to a couple law classes or doctor classes. Maybe your, your cousin or somebody you know is a doctor or lawyer can have you shadow them for a day, All right? Um, now, during COVID, that's probably isn't very like going to happen, but um, first thing to do, the very first thing to do, go and work for a fleet owner. I don't know how many times I have to tell people this. Step one, go work for a fleet owner. Make sure you like the business or industry, whatever you want to call it, right? Then if you decide, hey, maybe I'll go get a van. Go out, buy a van after you've done it for maybe six months to a year. Decide if that's what you want to do. If you want to be, maybe you just want to work for a fleet owner or drive for a company. Cool. No problem. Good. Good for you. Awesome. That's what you want to do. That's great. Go buy your van, get it on with a rep. But first of all, you want to get on with a reputable company, not some rinky dink company that rips you off or runs for basically peanuts and you starve to death and you whine and cry because you don't have any money because you didn't do your due diligence to find out what companies are good and which ones are bad and which one fits your lifestyle and all this other stuff. Okay. Um, so then you want to put your van on with a company where you're going to make money, right? Somebody like maybe CNM Transport, uh, Load One, Barrett Direct Line. Um, there's so many of them out there. There's a lot of companies out there that um, you can run for and make money. Okay. Um, don't worry about what the naysayers say on Facebook. Half them guys just don't want you to get in the industry and uh basically potentially steal loads off them which is freaking stupid anyways uh it really doesn't matter there's work out there for everybody and don't let them tell you that there's not because there is um i've been doing this 11 years it's the same bullshit every year every year it never changes all these guys get in and they're taking cheap freight and blah 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 blah, blah and you're beating a dead horse and realistically it doesn't it doesn't matter okay 
uh, what people run for. Everybody's going to run cheaper. They're going to try and get a load to get it, blah, 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 blah. And it's a never-ending story, right? It's like a treadmill. People get on, people get off. There's only certain people that realize, hey, I like this. Um, I'm good at it, whatever. This is for me. Maybe they're in it for the rest of their working time or maybe they get out of it and then get back into it or whatever, right? Um, step number three, and do these in steps because it's a proven recipe for success. That's what you want. You want to succeed. You don't want to be them, them idiots that don't do their due diligence and fail and wonder why they failed. It's everybody else's fault but mine. No, it's your fault you failed. Okay? It's your fault that you failed. Nobody else's. It's not your dispatcher's fault. It's not the company you're with's fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's your fault you failed. Okay? So let's get that out of the way. Um, so basically before you even think about starting your own company, being your own boss, number one, do you have money to back yourself for six months to a year financially? If the answer is no, don't do it. Don't even think about running your own, starting your own company. I'm going to buy a, I'm going to buy an, an old cargo van and this and that, and I'm, everything's going to be hunky dory and. I'm going to get all these customers and get, get off the bid boards and this, that, and the other. Number one, if you know nothing about the industry, do not buy a van. Do not start your own company up because probably 95% of people fail. That's the hard facts. That's true. People fail. There's only 5%, maybe 5% that actually succeed because they know what they're doing or they listen to the right people. Yeah, I could come on here and, you know, look like Mr. Gangster Cool Dude and, oh, look, look at this, I got this, I got this brand new, I got this brand new camera here. Ooh, oh, look at that, I got a brand new, whatever, MacBook Pro 32. I don't do that because I'm the average, I'm like the average Joe. I'm not a showboat, okay? What I tell people is stuff that I've learned, right? Am I always right? No. Do I continue to learn every day? Yes. Do I try and help people out? Yes. Will you fail if you do no due diligence? Yes, you will, and you'll fail miserably. So, how to fail at expediting? Don't do any research. Don't listen to anybody. Don't go on Facebook, the Facebook groups. Uh, go buy yourself a $60,000 van. Go get your own running authority. Go get your own DOT and MC number and try and bid on loads and work for free and go bankrupt. There you go. That's a recipe for success if you want to be a failure. And that's what it is. So maybe the more people that get into the industry and fail... Better for me, right? I don't have to do videos and help people out. I choose to because when I got into this, there was nobody to do videos. Am I the best at videos? No, I don't plan. I don't, I'm not making YouTube my life. <laughs> I have a life outside of YouTube. I have a life outside of doing videos. And if a couple hundred people watch, so be it. I, I don't care. YouTube means nothing to me. What means everything to me? Number one, providing for my family. Okay? Spending time with my wife and kids. And my extended family. Right? Three, maybe YouTube or BitChute or something like that. Something fun to do. I do this because it's a hobby. And because if I can help somebody out that's not going to fail. Great. Mission accomplished. Right? Right? So anyways, this is how to fail at expediting 101. How to fail at expediting 101. And uh, I see a lot of I see a lot of people failing at expediting, blaming everybody else but themselves for their own demise, 
because they couldn't take the time to do their due diligence. And for those that do do their due diligence, congratulations. There's something in between your, your brain there other than air. That's all, all I see is airheads that know how to, oh, look, I can boil eggs. Oh, look, I can cook, cook hot dogs. Which hot dog's the best at the pilot roller roller dog thing rink? <laughs> you think it was wrong of me to turn down a dollar a mile load for a short trip? Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your time. You like the video? Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, I really don't care. Um, if you like my content, please subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.